Hello ladies and gentlemen, Fenrir Pendragon here, and uh, today we got some patch notes for Sims 4 as of uh, May 17th, uh, 2016. Uh, so it wasn't a very big uh, update, so there weren't very many uh, patch notes, but I figured I'd make a small video and uh, do a quick rundown. Alright, so first up, there was a bug fix to address an issue where the tragic clown hair was randomly appearing on Sims that weren't the tragic clown. Uh, I'm sure it was a hilarious bug, uh, but that's no longer an issue. So the random townies around town would have sometimes have the crazy uh, tragic clown hair. Uh, I'm pretty sure you might have seen it since it was uh, so random. All right, so next up, we have uh, several interactions on the computer for children. Uh, now show a skill icon showing uh, where the... What exactly the skin is, uh, rather the skill is uh, affecting. So for instance, I have a sim right here, and so you can see it's actually uh, adjusting the music, I guess. Um, but it's kind of nice to see that uh, the icons are going to be showing up for what skill they're getting uh, and what kind of uh, uh, effects it's going to have when they're messing with the computer in different ways. So it's kind of neat. Uh, so along the lines for children, it says that they will now gain social motive when adults read to them. Uh, so that's kind of a neat little thing there. Uh, I don't know why it wasn't there in the first place, but whatever, it's there now. Uh, so next up we have uh, on the subject of talking, uh, chatting with Sims on the Slablet will now build relationship with that Sim. So now we have another way to build relationships with our Sims. We can obviously invite them over. Uh, we could talk to them on the phone, on the computer, and now we have the little tablet as well. So that's kind of an, a neat little extra thing there that just tossed in. Uh, another thing that is uh, fixed that I thought was kind of funny, uh, the word master bedroom will no longer be blocked by the profanity filter when sharing to the gallery. The patch notes also state that master bathroom is next. Uh, I don't know if they were serious or if that's like legit uh, an issue. Uh, so if you ever had something up there, had master bedroom in it, uh, and you wondered why, I'm, I'm guessing the profanity filter is a little too overzealous in what it's blocking. It thinks it's a different naughty word, so that's no longer an issue. Uh, in this update, they also addressed uh, an issue where Sims' shadow would flicker in a low light room. Uh, so if you ever had like dark rooms, you might have seen some shadowing. Uh, kind of flickering. It wasn't your video card. It wasn't anything to do with your computer. It was actually something on their end. Uh, so that's kind of nice to see that they actually fixed that. Uh, napping in a hot tub uh, will now finally trigger the ultra speed. Uh, so this is again, it's something that's a no-brainer. I don't know why it wasn't there to begin with, uh, because any other time you pass out and you're the only sim, it should it always pops into uh, ultra speed. So it's kind of bizarre that it didn't do that for that. Um, so now that's fixed. Uh, they also addressed an issue that prevented the completion of the be patient to a child with three friends aspiration goal. Uh, so those having an issue with that can finally get that completed. So that's kind of uh, a nice little thing there because there's sometimes where you encounter things like that and um, you can't complete it. And you think it's on your end, but really it's on their end. Uh, edge scrolling is... Uh, now functions in windowed full screen mode. So for those of you who use windowed full screen mode, uh, you can now do the edge scrolling and not have an issue with that. So that's uh, that's kind of cool. I, I personally like edge scrolling because of the fact that, you know, I don't, I don't have to keep dragging it along. Um, so next up and lastly, we have uh, the fact that they fixed an issue where photographs placed on a lot would incorrectly flag as having CC when shared to the gallery. Uh, the notes also state that it will correct the issues going forward, but it doesn't say whether or not it's going to be retroactive, unfortunately. Uh, so if you have something on the gallery and it's flagged as CC, but you don't use CC, uh, it's most likely probably because of the, the pictures. Um, so you might have to take it down and re-upload it, which, you know, that's a pain in the ass. Uh, it kind of sucks because, you know, you lose all your downloads and stuff, but that's, you know, that's if it really bothers you that much or if people just, they don't want to use CC stuff. Uh, so that's all the patch notes for this update. 
Uh, like I said, it's pretty small update. Wasn't too many uh, notes on the patch notes. Uh, so hope it answered a couple of questions. I'll definitely be putting the link to the patch notes in the description down below. So always check those out. I always put tons of links to various things down there. Uh, so again, I hope the video was informative. I hope it helped you out. Or you know, if you had any questions as to what the update had, or if there were certain things that you were hoping they were fixed, now you know they did get fixed. So I hope you enjoyed watching. Thank you for watching as always. And until next time, take care, everyone.